Hello, my name's Ashley, and I'm going to be doing a few uh, minor informal video tutorials on Flight Sim X, just teaching you some basic concepts that a lot of people may not be familiar with. And I'll be specifically focusing more on IFR stuff. And in this very first video, I want to cover just the basic concept of the NDB and the ADF and its relationship. Now an NDB, all it is, is that little transmitter right there, it transmits on the AM frequency and in this particular case of uh, tuned in the frequency 486, I'll tune into this NDB and as you can see this ADF needle, the automatic direction finder, is pointing towards the NDB, the non-directional beacon. And all this does is just transmits in all directions and that's why it's called an NDB which actually stands for non-directional beacon and all the ADF does is point towards that station that's all it does and underneath you have a fixed card uh, showing your relative bearing now at the moment it's obviously a relative bearing of zero because it's pointing straight towards it but in later videos I'll actually show you how to give you an idea how to fly in a, a, how to fly an NDB approach and I haven't come across any techniques that I actually use in real life. So you don't have to worry about magnetic bearing plus heading to give you the direction to the NDB. No, forget all that stuff. I mean, yep, great in theory, but in real life you haven't got time to work that stuff out in your head. You actually have to just fly the approach because you've actually got to fly the plane and everything at the same time. So I'm actually going to cover methods how to actually fly it. But in this video, I'm going to show you the direct relationship now, I can't believe I'm going to actually point this out, but please do not try this in real life. I'm actually just going to taxi around the actual beacon. And as I do that, just watch the ADF needle. Look how it turns. It's always going to point to it. Excuse my poor taxiing skills here, but I don't normally taxi on grass around NDBs. Look, look at that NDB needle. Look at it spins, always pointing towards it. As you can see, I'm making a left turn right around the actual NDB. The NDB. And the ADF continues to point towards it. So if I actually just come to a stop right here, it's a little bit past my left. Yep, right there. See that? Yeah, yeah. I guess my computer can't handle it. All right, but the other thing with the ADF, your actual heading is irrelevant. All it's going to do is just point to the NDB station. So if I all of a sudden spin in the other direction, whoop, watch that needle. It's always going to point to the ADF. Look, I bet it's off to my right. Oh, there it is. How about that? pretty straightforward and obviously other things I need to point out unlike the VOR this doesn't have any flags so in real life when you're actually using it you would actually be oh this poor computer uh, where is the ADF there you'd actually be monitoring that and if you do fly in real life I'd actually recommend you don't put it in your headset I would put it in the overhead speaker so it's not blasting you in the head as you're flying instrument approaches especially in real instrument conditions but you do have to have it blaring in real life so in the sim some of the procedures real life procedures I'm not going to follow just for simplicity's sake all right now let's just pretend we're currently flying towards an NDB and this is what it's going to look like on the ADF pretend we can't see any of this stuff here this is all IFR right we can't see anything so we're flying towards the station what does it look like when you get station passage? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to drive right through the NDB and see what happens. Close to the station, look at the needle. It's very jittery. All of a sudden, the beacon is behind me and now the needle points backwards. So if I stop, take a look. If I look directly behind me, what do you know? NDB is behind me. So the basic concept between the ADF and the NDB is the A. Oh, poor computer. The ADF needle is always going to be pointing towards the NDB 
as it is right now. Provided you have the correct frequency tuned in and you're also within range and you would be doing that by listening to that if you're flying in real life. Uh, a couple of things I need to point out. This is obviously a fixed card ADF. This is what I learned to fly on. An aircraft similar to this, the old Tobago and Duchess. And I did have an HSI, but the technique I'm going to show you, you can, you can use just as well with a DG and a heading bug. And believe me, it's actually not that difficult to fly, well, especially in still wind conditions. But the technique, I've not actually seen any other tutorials in the method I use to fly NDBs. And I'd recommend highly that you leave the fixed card ADF right where it is. Do not touch the background. Leave it as it is. Leave it north to the top. And in the next video, you'll see how to do basic intercepts with a flying inbound or outbound from an NDB. And then from there, go on to actually showing you how to fly an NDB approach. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful so that you can see the relevance between or the connection between an ADF and an NDB. Thanks for watching.